Hello all, uh, welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to cover everything in the sales module from sales order to cash and uh, we will go through each document and we will create each document and I will describe the effect of each step uh, in the inventory and accounting both. We will see like in which document it hit accounts, in which document it hit inventory and what happened in every document and every steps and which steps we can skip as well so let's assume that uh, we have we have our uh, customers that we are selling the product and we have to generally go through uh, the normal flow of the business like we have here like we have to create a sales order whenever uh, and we can create a sales order from the sales quotation here I'm not going to talk about that because we already have seen the purchase request and purchase uh, quotation and these uh, documents are pretty similar so you can explore that area by yourself but if you have any doubt please please feel free to let me know and uh, I will make one and then so once you get the sales order out of uh, out of it from the customer which is kind of an agreement from the customer that he's gonna buy these goods uh, from your company in this particular uh, price of that quantity then you prepare the whole package you put the delivery uh, and uh, on that delivery document you ship that product to the warehouse uh, from your warehouse to the customer's address now when you ship the product from uh, from the uh, from uh, from your warehouse to the customer it's uh, uh, is after that you are in the same process you're gonna expect uh, the payment from him and so uh, you're gonna make the ad invoice and to accepting the payment and recording it into your uh, SAP business one uh, we're gonna make the incoming payment as well so this is the whole process of the sales module uh, sales uh, or general sales and then let's get uh, take a look one by one so now let's start with the sales order document in the sales order document we always gonna see a customer and the customer in the sales document because we are selling something to our customers so for example let's go to select to one of the customer and go to the business partner and the two things have to uh, keep in mind in the business partner is first one is the address the ship to and bill to which can I use in the sales documents and the second thing is the payment terms the payment term is basically define the different kind of payment term you are having and you can define as much as you want in here so for example here I'm giving the 5% discount to our customer because he's buying for the first time right and this this payment term is selected for this and this is the price list so the price list is also important because you are selling the different item to the different customer with the different prices right and you can define that into the item master data so for example if you are selecting this uh, customer and you are selecting the printer so if you go here is if you select this one and you're gonna update everything so as you can see you just selected a customer and once you selected that the, the automatic price here right now is the 80 euro for one quantity and if you see in our business partner master data the price list here is 02 and if you see 02 then the price of this item is 80 euro so that's why it happens now the second thing is like uh, the inventory in right now is available 97 committed to and in stock is 99 so let's say we're gonna uh, add five quantity of this particular item and the discount is automatically calculated five percent uh, with this and rest is flight and taxes and now you're gonna add the sales order and obviously you're gonna need a delivery date that when you're gonna deliver this item to your customer and after that you just added uh, sales order and then now what's gonna change in the inventory is like if you refresh the item master data the committed the committed account would be the committed quantity would be reduced and it will be added in uh, uh, like sorry the committed uh, the committed quantity would be increased by five and the available quantity would be decreased uh, by five because now it's not not anymore uh, 
available in your inventory and you already make a commitment to this customer that you're gonna sell this uh, item to this uh, with this quantity to this price and uh, so that's that's how your commitment work in the, in the SAP business one and once you created the sales order uh, you can also create the sales order uh, with the different uh, uh, like you know with the different uh, sales quotation and all but I'm not gonna talk about that because uh, it's, it's somehow similar to the purchase quotation so you can simply uh, learn by it yourself if but still if you have something uh, some questions then you can uh, definitely comment down and I will uh, I will help you through that so after creating the sales order uh, the next step would be to deliver that product before 31st that's uh, sooner delivery but yeah uh, like that you have to do so now after that now if there is a if there is a uh, thing that if you have multiple sales order and for the same business partner and you know, with the same business partner and uh, with the different item or the same same item doesn't matter then you can either open the delivery document directly and you can select the same customer right and then simply select the sales order and if you have the multiple sales order then you can select the multiple line in here by simply uh, control shift uh, button and then you can select the multiple sales order and it will be populated into your delivery document or if you uh, or if you have only one sales order then you can simply do a copy to from the sales order to the delivery and it will be get copied here now in the delivery document it, this is simply uh, sometimes it's also uh, gonna helpful for like the delivery package like you know and the address and all so if you're gonna see the logistic tab in here it's gonna copy all the address of the, of the customer uh, that we have and it's gonna put into the logistic tab right now now if you're gonna see uh, if you're gonna uh, see the detail all the details including the discount and all is already copied so you and there is a remark which said that it is based on the sales number which is the doc number of the sales order and you can simply add this document after adding the delivery you will see uh, two things the first one is the in the item master data the committed quantity would be reduced and uh, it, it's now reduced to from seven to two because we already uh, agreed to deliver that but the available quantity didn't change because it was already changed when we created the sales order and it goes into the commit uh, committed quantity so that's how it work in the delivery now here if you're using the inventory perpetual inventory uh, for the marketing document then in that case the uh, in that case the system automatically create a general entry uh, behind that as well uh, apart from the inventory posting and uh, the all the details gonna take in from uh, for the uh, for the general posting is uh, taken from the inventory tab of the item master data from the stock account field and the cost account field that would be appear here after you enable that uh, that from the document now we are not using that so you have to create a AR invoice and um, you can create a invoice directly again from uh, the delivery by simply doing the copy to you. the AR invoice is basically represent a request for the payment and posting a AR invoice is basically record the revenue in the profit and loss statements once you add this then AR invoice automatically create a general entry um, to the customer and to the revenue account and if you want to see the general entry before posting it then you can simply click here and it will show you a preview how your general entry gonna look like I'm gonna talk about this a bit in, in a minute so first let's add the AR invoice in here from, from the document now the AR invoice is uh, added if you go back to your delivery then you will see that the delivery document is already closed and as well as the sales order too so because these are all the base document you will get the information here as well in the remark field and after adding the AR invoice you're gonna see into the general entry we can open it directly from here or from the accounting tab by clicking this golden arrow so now you can see in and match the amount so obviously you give the five percent discount to the 
customer that uh, all that not gonna show into into your uh, document but overall customer have to pay 462.20 cents uh, so that's gonna be the in your customer account as a debit and it's gonna the, the amount gonna be credited in your account so these are the account which gonna be receivable uh, for the uh, inventory like for the revenue in the profit and loss so this is how the general entry look like it's also include the flight so this is how the general entry look like so now after creating the general entry and delivering the uh, goods to the customer customer is happy and now you have to create you have to take the money so you can simply go to the banking and create an incoming payment incoming payment because we are taking money from the customer to our account so that's why we have to create the incoming payment you here you can simply select the customer and all open sales or a, gonna be visible here and when you select our uh, our uh, sales order that we have just created uh, this one is gonna be show you the whole amount that he have to pay now you can simply select the due date the amount again from the control b and you can select the bank name anything then the branch if you have some and you can simply add it and then uh, you can add this incoming payment to your document and now once the incoming payment is uh, created then that's how it's gonna uh, then and if you're gonna refresh the ad invoice then you will see that the ad invoice is also closed now and if you go to the relationship map here now you will see all the related document throughout the whole process so first the sales order we had this business partner then we created the sales order then delivery then ad invoice and then incoming payment you can double click any in any of the boxes and it will directly lead to the particular document that's yeah so that was all for today and thank you for watching and if you have any question you can comment down below and i will try to have that thank you bye